tech lead here. Actually, not the tech lead. Uh, he's my brother. Hashtag tech lead. Actually, I'm not his brother. I'm just a humble fan. So uh, we'll start by cloning the starter kit for GNU's. That was fast. That's what she said. Now, the script we want to look at is build.sh. And for the purposes of this demo, I want to get two distinct Gmail user accounts. Uh, these two are ones that I control. OK, we'll run the script. Right, so now we have to fill in the password. OK, I copied it to my clipboard. OK, now I need to enter in the password for root on my laptop, which, of course, is the same as my username. So uh, if you somehow root my laptop from your remote location, I'll be impressed. Uh, not because you need my root password, but because you somehow identified where my laptop was in the sea of laptops on the internet. OK, so build.sh finished. It will have installed uh, on a five minute loop uh, this program called uh, Mailbox Sync, or MB Sync. Look at our system CTL user uh, list timers. And we'll see that we now have uh, this service called MB Sync on a five minute loop, which we can configure if you don't like five minutes, maybe you want it uh, more frequent or less. Um, you can configure, uh, as part of the repo, there's a MB Sync.timer file, which you can uh, mess with. For the purposes of this demo, let us uh, see, make sure that we have some emails from um, Gmail. Let's not wait. The, uh, we have four minutes to go. Uh, we might as well just goose it now. Uh, MB sync dash V. A V is for verbose and A is for all accounts. Uh, and lest me forget, uh, if you have not turned on not secure app access in your Gmail settings, then MB sync will fail in uh, very mysterious ways. I really encourage people uh, when they're starting out to run GNU's as a separate program. Certainly, if you're coming from a Thunderbird uh, background, uh, you will want your mail and messaging in a separate window altogether. Uh, you don't want to be necessarily uh, be working on your stuff and also using that same Emacs for messaging and email and news and Reddit and Hacker News and all this other good stuff. Uh, we Generally, we kind of want to keep it separated as the song goes. So um, what I do is I always run good news like so. Uh, you can't see that. My X turn now says uh, Emacs dash F GNU's. The dash F is to say, hey, man, I'm running Emacs, but I just want to run the news, and I kind of don't want to do anything else with it. So um, great, a blank screen. And this is precisely why no one uses GNU's. So <laughs> the deal is uh, you want to hit a carrot, which takes you to the server screen. So I'm trying to explain why, you know, after all our work of configuring our email, uh, you know, GNU's insists on showing a blank screen to start up. And, and the rationale behind that is that news is written and designed to make um, nary a distinction between uh, news and mail. So it treats, it treats Gmail, the Gmail service, uh, exactly the same as it would treat a Usenet service. And so you could easily imagine being super annoyed and startled if you were to configure a new, NNT, or a new Usenet service, and upon logging in and starting the news, it immediately, automatically, um, subscribe to all the news groups, which could easily number in the thousands. Cool, so now we have our emails, and uh, this is a, essentially a junk account, so it's got a bunch of emails I'm not particularly interested in. So I can hit C to catch up. Mark all unread articles as read, and I say yes, and that immediately zeroes out uh, that inbox. And um, similarly, I could do the same for um, this other Gmail account. So that's email in a nutshell. Now I've, I've written several backends for other uh, sources of messages. And um, so for instance, there's Reddit. Let's go to my original Emacs, and I can, uh, I can edit my .emacs. Let's add Reddit and uh, Twitter. Save our .emacs. Let's uh, restart the news. Let us restart the news. OK, and so now it's asking me to authenticate with Reddit. So I allow it. I will allow it. And it's asking me to authorize with Twitter. And I will do the same here. Here is an added wrinkle of um, doing a OAuth 1 version 1 dance. I have to enter in a pin to Emacs. OK. Cool. So uh, it'll be easier to parse if we create 
uh, what's called topics in GNU. So I'll create a new topic for all my Reddit groups called Reddit. Capital T, capital T, N for new, new topic. Um, call it Reddit. Let's move this guy to the new topic. Let's move him to the new topic. Let us create a new topic called Twitter. Capital T, little n, Twitter. Let's move capital T, M to Twitter. Let's move evil hag, capital T, little, little m to Twitter. Uh, and, and that's really it. Uh, well, you know, uh, good news is uh, quite a handful. And if you're just starting out, then, you know, be prepared to suffer, really. 